Good evening. Time now for Weekend in Sports, and we leave with cricket this evening. Trinidad and Tobago produces a remarkable come from behind winner of the ICC 2020 Champions Trophy in India today. The Caribbean side advances to the semi finals thanks mainly to their all rounder, Chiron Pollard. His destructive 54 from 18 balls, giving Trinidad and Tobago a four wicket victory over the Australian side, New South Wales, in Hyderabad. Chasing 171 to win, TNT looked down and out at 116 for eight in the 15th over. Before the powerful all rounder carted the New South, Wales, New South Wales bowlers all over the park. His innings included five fours and five sixes, giving Trinidad and Tobago one of the most memorable wins in 2020 history. Brilliant. You know, we always expected an innings like that from Pollard. You know, he came good today, but I can tell you, he's not going to be the only one coming good. We have a lot of other guys who are looking forward and hungry to perform for this team. Well, Trinidad and Tobago will be back in action on Sunday against the Eagles. Now to some football news. Scholars International meet Georgetown in the top-of-the-table clash in the CIFA Premier League this Sunday. The Scholars try to maintain their unbeaten record against Georgetown at the Annex. Georgetown is coming off a tough 2-2 draw with Champions Elite last Sunday and will have their hands full with the Scholars who have been in great goal-scoring form so far this season. In other matches on this weekend, Bowden Town FC tackles Tigers and Ed Bush Elite will face Sunset while future meets Roma. From the top flight of the Cayman Islands football to the development of the girls game here, more than 60 girls have been learning the basics in the, in the Girls Can Play Football program at the George Hicks playing field every Saturday morning. We captured the girls going through their paces last Saturday under the direction of the head coach, Sue Green. Ready? One, two, three, four. You got to start. Right foot on the top of the ball, all right? To teach the girls the fundamentals of the game, um, work with the basics. Um, also, we work with their self-esteem, confidence. Good job, good job, girls. Go! Keep your ball in front of you so you don't end up chasing your ball, all right? This is our third season, um, and working with the parents and showing how important it is that they come out and support their child. See, you know, seeing the, the girls, seeing their parent on the sideline, supporting their you know, physical activity in, in the game. Ready? On you go! Heads up, watch where you're going. Um, it's a popular program. We had about six, about 65 on average, I would say. Yeah. Left over right, down. They love it. At the end of the season, they Nine. don't want to, they want us to keep going. So, <laughs> coaches need a little bit of break, but yeah. <laughs> Awesome program there. Let's take a look at what's on this weekend. The highly anticipated flag football finals are on tomorrow at the Edward Sports Center starting at 3 and 4 o'clock. The CUC Primary School Football Tournament continues tomorrow morning at the grounds across the islands. Pilates for Pink, an event aimed at raising breast cancer awareness, comes off tomorrow morning at the Arts and Recreation Center at Kamana Bay. Two sessions tomorrow morning at 9 and 10.30. The Lions Corporate Sports Fund Day is also on tomorrow all day long at the Lions Center. Sunday's action jumps off with the first build-up race in the Cayman Islands Triathlon Series. The event starts at 7 Sunday morning, Governor's Way in West Bay. 2020 cricket continues this Sunday with two matches at the Smith Road Oval. I'll be playing for Barbados on Sunday. And the weekend caps off with four matches in the FIFA Premier League at the Annex and Edbush Sports Centre. And finally this evening, 12 years after their unforgettable heavyweight clash in Las Vegas, Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield came face to face today. But this time, the two prized fighters weren't battling for the WBA heavyweight title. But they met on a talk show with the host Oprah Winfrey for Tyson to apologize for biting Holyfield's air off in 1997. Earlier this week, Tyson told Oprah he never apologized to Holyfield sincerely after the incident. But Holyfield, who won the title from Tyson, said he has long forgiven his former rival. Yes, I've forgiven. I have forgiven. I have moved on and realized that it was just a, a part of life and things happen. Yeah. Things happen all the time in my life, and my life wouldn't be what it is if things didn't happen. How does it feel to you, for you to hear him say that? Well, you know, like I said before, um, I'm, I'm extremely grateful, you know what I mean, and I'm just so happy to extend my friendship to him, and I, just, um, I have a great deal of respect and admiration for him. A great way to end sports this evening. Weather is next.